Disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein's been found guilty on two of the five charges he faced in a New York court. Weinstein's been charged with rape in the third degree and a criminal sexual act in the first degree and will be sentenced on the 11th of March. He shuffled into court as he has for the past two months, but what Harvey Weinstein didn't know was that he wouldn't be walking out again. Although he was acquitted of the two most serious charges, his convictions for rape and sexual assault meant he was handcuffed and sent to jail pending sentence. Guilty of forcing oral sex on Miriam Haley, a young production assistant. Guilty of raping aspiring actress Jessica Mann. In total, eight women testified against Weinstein. Weinstein is a vicious, serial sexual predator who used his power to threaten, rape, assault, trick, humiliate and silence his victims. For decades, he was the toast of Hollywood, but his career had already ended in disgrace, forced to quit his job by the sheer weight of accusations against him. Inside courtroom 99, victims waived their anonymity to be questioned and cross-examined about the intimate details of their sexual encounters with Weinstein. Mimi Haley said, he was coming toward me physically and I was backed into a bedroom that was on the corner of that open space area, she said. I walked backwards because he was pushing me with his body until I got to the bed and I fell backwards onto the bed and I tried to get up and he pushed me down. She continued, I just said, no, no, I don't want this to happen. Jessica Mann defended continuing to have contact with the movie producer. I know the history of my relationship with him. I know it was complicated and difficult, but that doesn't change the fact that he raped me. But his lawyer, Don Rotono, told the jury, you don't have to like Mr. Weinstein. This is not a popularity contest, but you have to remember that we are not here to criminalize morality. One of his lawyers told me about Weinstein's reaction to the verdicts. He handled it like a stoic gentleman. He just kept repeating, but I'm innocent, but I'm innocent, I'm, in I'm innocent. How could this happen in America? But we'll, we'll, he'll have a very powerful appeal. He didn't get convicted of the top count. We could go in and get him bail pending appeal, and hopefully he'll be home within the week. The challenge for prosecutors was to explain to the jury why women hadn't reported allegations to the police at the time they happened. The prosecution knows the holes in their case in terms of the gaps in the time between the assault and how long it took for some of these victims to come forward. And so they plugged those holes with expert witnesses uh, who were very good, who were used in the Bill Cosby case. Uh, and, and as a result of that, uh, they were able to make out a case where a jury can connect those dots. Women who had made similar accusations, some of whom are now suing Weinstein, had come to court when the trial got underway to make their presence felt. The survivors group issued a statement. While it's disappointing that today's outcome does not deliver the true, full justice that so many women deserve, Harvey Weinstein will now forever be known as a convicted serial predator. This conviction would not be possible without the testimony of the courageous women and the many women who have spoken out. These were just a few of the many allegations against Harvey Weinstein. Prosecutors chose the ones they thought stood the best chance of winning a conviction. But the stories triggered a much wider response from women who said that Harvey Weinstein was just one man among many who'd abused their power for sexual gratification. Weinstein will be sentenced on March the 11th. He faces a minimum of five years in jail and a maximum of 25 years. Ian Woods, Sky News, New York.